Nobody again to talk to, but the times now were even deeper than they ever were in my life. And when you're in a situation where you just you're busy trying to divide and conquer. Yes! Okay. They're not fun, they're not apart. I mean, you know. It was like any other divorce, you know, sans all of the drama. Hi, Mickey. How are you doing? We love you, girl. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? Hi, very well, thanks. That's good. Is Kevin Hunter forcing Wendy Williams to give him more money? Wendy is surely not giving in without a fight. She exposed him before through multiple interviews and she's now going to say more about how Kevin is treating her. Come on, we have seen how their divorce played out and have been following their feud ever since the divorce because admit it, we love the drama. If you thought that Wendy has already said everything that can be exposed about her ex-husband, then you are wrong because we are yet to see more. Wendy kept quiet during all those years that Kevin was having an affair. She knew about Sharina Hudson but she still chose to keep their marriage going even though both Kevin and his mistress are spending her money for their own desires. They deceived and used Wendy for more than 10 years and both of them are still out here trying to extort money from Wendy. Kevin doesn't even have any consideration knowing that Wendy is still recovering from her sickness and substance abuse. Although reports have it that Wendy has already been out of the wellness facility, she still needs more time to sort out her life and get back on track again. I guess every wife's patience has limitations. As for Wendy, she finally had enough and decided to end their years of marriage after she found out that Sharina, Kevin's mistress, was pregnant. That was the last straw for her. She even said in one of her interviews that she does not want to be changing pampers, she wants to be the one who gets pampered. I mean, every wife would probably agree about that. What is more infuriating is that Kevin had splurged Wendy's money to buy a house for his mistress. This house was later on found out by Wendy and said that it was just a few miles away from the house where she and Kevin once lived. If you love Wendy Williams and want to see more updates about her life, then make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Anyway, this is not the only time that he used Wendy's money on his mistress. Rumor has it that Sharina tried to make Kevin leave Wendy when their affair was getting serious. Kevin obviously refused because if he's gonna leave Wendy and file for divorce, then he would no longer be able to get money from her. He obviously does not know how to fend for himself and even now that they're already divorced, he kept on pressuring Wendy to give him alimony pay. While their affair was going on, Kevin had supported a few of Sharina's businesses. He even enrolled her to be a massage therapist, but it did not end well. Additionally, he also invested in Sharina's business. It certainly did not end the way they expected it because the businesses that Sharina started all seemed to fail. I mean, if it does become successful, maybe they will no longer rely on Wendy to financially support their little family. Also, if some of you remembered, Kevin had a barber shop as well, but even that was not a success since he can no longer pay his employees. For sure, you've already heard about some of the things that Wendy and Kevin had agreed on before their divorce was finalized. One of those is that Wendy would have to pay Kevin alimony. Well, in one of her interviews, Wendy had talked about how she's always sending them money every month. She even said that she was always on time and giving him the severance pay. Unfortunately, there are a lot of things that happened to Wendy which we will discuss further later. But all of those things ended up with her not being able to send alimony pay to Kevin anymore. Of course, Kevin was outraged and he was not having it. He wants to continuously receive money from Wendy because he does not have any other source of income to support his new family. He filed a case against Wendy claiming that she breached their settlement agreement. Although some will think that he should have the right to receive this money if it is stated in their agreement, I want you to know that there are limitations to this agreement that Kevin must be conveniently forgetting. They also agreed that this alimony pay can be modified or even stopped altogether and Kevin had signed into it. This is why Kevin filed this case against Wendy. Wendy's legal team was quick to respond and clarified that Wendy was no longer being compensated by her show. Like what I've said earlier, Wendy had been struggling both mentally and physically in the past years. This is why she was unable to film for her show for quite a long time. Because of this, her show got cancelled altogether and the time slot was already given to another host. Ever since the cancellation of the show, Kevin was no longer getting money from this. Also, her attorney pointed out that there is no other TV show that is paying her the same amount. That being said, ever since Wendy still has money, her funds are now limited. 
And besides, do you guys remember when Wendy first went into a rehab facility because of her alcoholism? Well, Kevin had taken it to his Instagram to talk about Wendy's condition and even had the audacity to associate his name to the success of the Wendy Williams show. I mean, yes, he was part of the big team that worked for the show, but he obviously wants credit for her success. Ugh, it's so tiring to see these men always wanting some recognition for the things that they did not actually do. Also, he even thanked his mistress because as for him, she also played a role in the success of her ex-wife. What kind of man does that? He completely does not know how to be ashamed. Did he forget that he cheated on Wendy for a very long time? Or maybe he was just too confident? What do you think would happen about this recent case that Kevin had filed against Wendy? I would love to know your thoughts, so comment them down below. So let us now talk about Wendy's condition. Fans started to get worried about her when she passed out in one of her filming for a show. She just dismissed it and told people that she was just probably dehydrated and it was so hot in the studio when that happened. Later on, she revealed that she is suffering from Graves' disease. Ever since, she was seen in public multiple times looking sick. She even had a hard time walking as she also said that her legs became weak most of the time. She also announced in her show that she has been dealing with alcoholism and she had to undergo rehab. But when she received the news about Sharina being pregnant, she had a relapse and had to be rushed to the hospital. She became more dependent on alcohol because she was dealing with a lot on her plate already. It must have been hard to finally go through the divorce process. Many have even talked about how their marriage would end one way or another. Wendy's fans had talked about it for years before the divorce about how Kevin is just gold digging and just using Wendy for her money. They were right though. Right now, Kevin is no longer thinking about what other people will say about him as he's not even ashamed to let people know that he's completely dependent on the money that Wendy sends him every month after the divorce. If you also do not know about this yet, Wendy had him fired from the show when she filed for divorce. This left him divorced and unemployed according to Wendy's words. Since then, Kevin seems to not be interested in having a job again and wants to just be supported by Wendy's money. But that extortion came to an end. I guess that's what you call karma, huh? It will get to you somehow, especially if you deserve it. In Kevin's claim, he said that he will soon be expecting foreclosure of his home if Wendy will still not give him severance pay. He also said that he can no longer pay for his car insurance and that he had to undergo hip surgery. Looks like he is completely broke right now. Let us also not forget that his case was not the only one that Wendy had to battle through because she is also in conflict with her own bank. Her bank currently does not give her access to her own money. According to Wells Fargo, they have the grounds to believe that Wendy is not of sound mind to make financial decisions. This must also be one of the reasons as well as to why she is no longer giving Kevin alimony pay. Many are even saying that this was Wendy's plan all along. If so, we can't blame her for that and that is a truly smart move if you ask me. I mean, she saw this perfect opportunity and leveraged it to stop giving her ex-husband the satisfaction of splurging through the money that she worked so hard for. She might have endured all those years of his affairs, but right now, she is ready to give them a taste of their own medicine. They must think that they can rely on her wealth for the rest of their lives, but Wendy is no longer having it. She's had enough. It must be the time for Kevin to find a decent job. Maybe if Sharina would try another business, it might work for now, but I doubt that. She can just work as well to provide for her child instead of waiting for Wendy's money. Recent news had revealed that Kevin hired new high-value lawyers to fight for this case. I mean, no matter how hard he tries now, I bet that Wendy's already prepared for whatever it is to come. She must be laughing at them because they look so pathetic, almost indirectly begging her for money instead of spending their time, energy, and remaining money to support their family. Also, doesn't he need money to pay for his expenses? So why is he spending so much for new lawyers to fight for him? Whoever his lawyers are, it would not change the facts in their agreement. Many of us already knew that Wendy will not let him have the last laugh knowing that she's already better now. We just hope that Wendy now has a solid support system to be in her best state again and to continue with her recovery. She would still be facing a lot. She must be tired with all the acts that her ex-husband and Sharina are pulling off. They do not seem to be having enough though. For them, it must be easier to just extort money from Wendy and threaten her instead of working for a living. For sure, I'm not the only one waiting for what is to come next about this fiasco. Would Wendy completely shut them down? Or is Kevin going to push Wendy until he no longer has any resources to even provide for his family? 
I hope he will not forget his responsibilities to his new family as well and stop thinking so much about Wendy's money. He surely got so much from her already. Even when they were still together, he was already using her money for his personal expenses. We are all waiting though for Wendy's comeback because she sure had a lot of information to reveal about her ex-husband. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out these videos.